All right, howdy. Nate Skinner back here for All Seasons Feeders. I'm going to go over with you how to operate the ASF digital timer. That way, when you add this timer to your setup, you know exactly how to set the feed times, set the clock, test the motor. So when you leave the ranch or your deer lease, you can rest assured that your deer feeder is going off at the correct times when you want it to. And when you come back to hunt, you can focus on hunting and not worry about whether it's working. All right, to set the time on the ASF digital timer, you're going to hit the program button once to get to the clock mode. Then you're going to hit the program button again to adjust the hour. So let's say we want to set it for 5.15 p.m. So you can use the plus or minus signs to get to the number that you want it to be at. So we're going to go for 5.15 p.m. I've got it to 5. Now I want to hit the program again to adjust the minutes. And I'll go up to 15 to make it 5.15 p.m. Now, once I've got it set and I want to lock in my time, I'm going to hit program again. And then wait for 10 seconds and it will go back to the ready screen. Alright, to set the feed time, I'm going to hit the plus button until I get to feed 1. And then I can hit the program button to adjust the time uh, first is the hour so I can use the minus button or the plus button to change the hour so let's say we want the first feed time to be at 7.05 a.m. I've got it at 7 I'll hit program again to adjust the minutes get to 5 alright hit program again to adjust the duration so if we want it to go off for 10 seconds Use the plus or minus buttons until you get it to the time you want it to spin for, so 10 seconds. And then I'm going to hit program again to adjust how fast I want the spinner plate to spin. So if I want it at a low speed, I can put it at low, medium, if I want it at medium speed or high. And again, you can change the speeds by hitting the plus or minus signs as well. Once you get it to the selected speed you want, let's say we want it at high, hit program again and your first feed time is ready to go. Now you can set up to six scheduled times with the digital timer. So you can set additional feed times just like you did the first one. You're going to scroll through using the plus sign. We've already set feed one. If you want to set feed two, get to it, hit program. Let's say we want it to go off at 6.15 p.m. Use the plus or minus signs to get to the right time. Once you get the hour, Hit program again to adjust the minutes. We're going to 6.15 p.m. Hit program again to adjust the duration of how long it spins. Let's say we want it at 10 seconds. Hit program again to adjust the speed. So let's say we want it to spin fast. We put it on the high speed. Then hit program again to lock it in. We have feed two now locked in at 6.15 p.m. You can do the same thing. For the other feed times if you want, you can scroll through all the way to feed six. So if you want them to not go off, then just leave them at off. And if you want to set in a time, then set them just like we did feed one and feed two. And again, you can have up to six scheduled feed times on this digital timer. You can test your feeder by simply hitting the test button. It's going to give you an eight second delay to walk away and then it's going to spin for the duration that is set on the first feed time. So if your first feed time is 10 seconds, it's going to test the feeder for a 10 second spin. And that's how to operate the ASF digital timer. If you have any further questions, give the folks at All Seasons Feeders a call at 1-800-841-1720. I'm Nate Skinner. Thanks for watching.